Why should you mist your mantis or jumping spider regularly? Let's find out in this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodapods. I'm Dave and today we are talking about misting your mantis or jumping spider's enclosure. I felt this is an important video to do because to some it's common sense why you do this, but to others, they often get confused as to why you need to do this. I felt it was a really important video to cover. Now when I'm talking about misting or spraying, I'm just talking about getting a water bottle or spray bottle and just spraying the sides of the enclosure or sometimes the top depending on what species you've got lightly with water so droplets form on the surface of either elements in the enclosure, items in the enclosure or just the walls and it's something that's really important to do especially at certain life stages of various species. Many people think that you spray an enclosure to maintain humidity and to an extent that is true but generally humidity can be maintained in a jumping spider or mantis enclosure much better by having substrate at the bottom or having bioactive plants in there and just watering those. For example you have tarantula species, a lot of people maintain humidity purely by overfilling a water bowl in the corner. It's a much more efficient way of doing it and it can help prevent like oversaturating the environment with moisture. So this is the best way to maintain humidity just by keeping a bioactive environment and watering the plants in there or by maintaining humidity in the substrate. So why then is misting so important? And misting is really important for two reasons. And the first one is much more important for mantises than it is for jumping spiders, and that is providing drinkable water. The main thing I see with my, mant with my mantids when it comes to moisture is their desire to drink. They don't drink it out of a bowl. They don't really drink it in the same way other inverts like a, a tarantula may go down to the bowl and drink from there. A mantis likes to lick its moisture off of leaves or off of the enclosure sides. And that's why I always try to spray at least every couple of days for my mantis so they can provide, have drinking water available to them. It does help to keep the environment nice and fresh, especially if I don't overdo it. But I have noticed in the past if it's been warmer and I have neglected to do it for a couple of days or it's been a little bit longer due to various things, you do notice them get sluggish and if you leave it too long it can actually be fatal for them. It is really important to give your mantis drinkable water. It's also important to do so for your jumping spider. And it's a little bit less important here because most of the time they'll get their moisture from their prey, but certain species will require a bit more moisture. And it doesn't hurt to just mist one side or a few leaves or plants in there or decor in there just so they have regular drinking water. Because again, that can make a big difference whether they survive if they're not eating for a while or if something more unfortunate happens. And that I think is the main reason why you want to regularly mist enclosures. And the other important reason is more related to molting and different life stages. Sometimes when your spider or mantis is growing up, they're going to molt, well, all the time. It's just natural to them, they're always going to molt. And to help that molting process, it can help to increase the humidity. And obviously I've talked about substrate and doing it that way, but to help them out a little bit, you can spray their enclosure when you notice they're going to pre-molt and spray it a little bit more just afterwards. That will help them with the molting process and help it go a bit more smoothly. It's something that's well worth doing and it doesn't cause any harm and can actually sort of supplement their chances of molting successfully without having any problems. And it's something I always regularly do now and most of my, well, nine out of 10 of my molts are successful with no damage, no problems. And I would like to keep it that way, so I'm going to keep doing it. One small thing I'd like to mention as well, if you are a jumping spider owner especially, but it can apply to some mantises as well, is do check into your individual species requirements. There are lots of jumping spiders, for example the Taxanus, that don't really like lots of moisture. So you want to only put a little bit in the substrate and you only want to provide maybe a couple of spritzes on one side. Because if it is overly moist, especially if they've gone past their final molt, that can cause them a bit of stress and it can be a non-ideal environment for them. So do check into your species specific requirements to make sure you're getting them right. As I am talking quite big generalities in this video, but when you're making content for YouTube, you kind of have to. So those are my primary reasons for misting an enclosure. Do you have any others you'd like to add or any other cautionary tales? I'm always open to learning or listening to our opinions. If you have any comments, drop them down below. But in the meantime, I hope you found this video useful and take care. See you later.